Looks like you lost another one. Melanin Athletes highlights the controversial and inspiring stories of some of the best African-American collegiate athletes to play the game. On our third episode, Murray State Soccer's Simone Cooper. You could say sports ran in the Cooper family because Simone's mom was a collegiate athlete herself. Well, I started as a young kid and my mom, she played basketball in college. So she pushed me to play different types of sports and branch out different sort of things. And I loved all the sports, but I think soccer really like spoke to me. It felt right. With her parents' guidance, Simone always worked hard. My mom and my dad, they both inspired me. My mom, she is someone that gives me great advice. She's just the brain. She's the one that talks me out of situations and makes me see the bigger picture. And my dad, he's like my, my engine. He keeps me going. He makes me, he tells me every day that like, um, you know, work hard to get to this and you're capable of getting this. He sees my potential, basically. Overcoming sports stereotypes is nothing new for Simone. As a black athlete, it was difficult because people always underestimated me. I felt like I had a lot to give and People just didn't see that. So I actually use that as motivation to be better and show them that I can be the best athlete possible. Black athletes are so much more than just strength. And Simone wants to prove them wrong. People don't tend to think that black athletes have brains that are more like speed and strength and power. But um, I want to prove that wrong. It's like black athletes have the IQ of sports. They can, they're capable of being smart. Simone's inspiration comes from an athlete who she can relate to. Venus Williams, because she is someone that I can see myself in. Like, she's a tall, lanky, black athlete that, like, people see and they're like, oh, she's not the typical athlete. Like, she doesn't look like a tennis player. And, like, people look at me and they're like, oh, she's not a soccer player. She's something else. But I, I just, I admire her because she, like, sees the bigger picture. So when she wins or loses something, she's on to the next thing. Like. It, she, winning is great, winning is awesome, but at the same time, like you have to keep building onto that. Like so that's what makes her a great athlete is because she keeps it moving. She just not, doesn't stay stagnant. She's always looking to the future, doesn't dwell on the path. Supporting women's sports is the change that we need. The change that I want to see is more people supporting women instead of just women. Um, I loved seeing the guy from Alabama doing the mega Rapino celebration. Like he just, that really like, really like inspired me and just I loved that so much it was just nice to see like some people doing like the LeBron James celebration they were, they were like um representing like the like Rapino of how awesome she is because she's an amazing athlete and it's just awesome to see other sports like love soccer being anything you want to be is her message to the black youth not let anyone put you in a box people put black athletes in a box and describe them in a similar way, like black females are this or black males are this. And I don't like being put in a box because I'm so much more than that. Like you're so much more than just a fast, powerful, you, you're smart. You can be anything you want to be basically.